Picture this. It's a cozy evening. You're nestled on your favorite couch, and the soft glow of the TV bathes the room in a warm, nostalgic light. You're just about to embark on a journey through time, to that golden era of television, where every episode was a window into the lives of the beloved characters of the 1975 TV series, one day at a time. As the theme music begins to play, you're transported back to a simpler time. A time when laughter and life's little struggles were all neatly wrapped up in a 30-minute package. Ah, oh, one day at a time. It's a show that has the remarkable ability to evoke memories of your first encounter with it, much like meeting an old friend after years apart. Maybe it was the relatable characters or the heartwarming family dynamics that drew you in. Perhaps it was the witty humor that had you in splits, or the poignant moments that left an indelible mark on your heart. We all have our own cherished memories associated with this iconic show. But did you know that behind the scenes, One Day at a Time was a trailblazer in its own right? As we delve into the lesser known facts about this beloved series, y'all discover the magic that unfolded behind the camera, the actor's untold stories, and the impact it had on television as we know it today. So, let's step back in time and uncover the hidden gems that make One Day at a Time a timeless classic. Get ready to be amazed by the secrets and surprises that shaped this iconic show. It's time to revisit the past and celebrate the magic of television, one day at a time. In interviews, Valerie Bertinelli has revealed that she and Mackenzie Phillips weren't as close as it might have seemed on screen. Bertinelli pointed to their different backgrounds and upbringings as the reasons behind this. Their on-screen chemistry may have been strong, but behind the scenes, their personal lives were quite distinct. While One Day at a Time was a hit TV series in the 1970s, there were disputes over who should receive top billing among the cast members. Representatives for Mackenzie Phillips and Bonnie Franklin had their disagreements with the show's producers regarding this matter. Such disagreements are common in the world of television, where billing can often be a sensitive issue. Bonnie Franklin, who portrayed Anne Romano on the show, had an interesting journey to fame. Before landing the role on One Day at a Time, she had a recurring part as Jean in the 1960s TV show Gidget. This is where she crossed paths with future Oscar winners Sally Field and Barbara Hershey, as well as Richard Dreyfuss, who would also later win an Oscar. They all played teenaged friends in the series. In conclusion, One Day at a Time had its share of behind-the-scenes dynamics, including differences between cast members and billing disputes. It's also worth noting the interesting connections between the actors from the show, and their earlier careers in television. These elements added depth to the series that viewers might not have been aware of at the time. The unseen side of One Day at a Time, Mackenzie Phillips' revelation in the world of 1975 television, One Day at a Time stood out as a beloved sitcom. But behind the scenes, there were stories not often told. One such revelation comes from Mackenzie Phillips, who played Julie Cooper on the show. In an interview featured in The Truth Behind the Sitcoms, she dropped a bombshell about a pivotal moment during the production. According to Mackenzie, there was a meeting with the cast where an unexpected incident occurred. She claimed that a stash of cocaine and drug paraphernalia accidentally fell out of her pocket and onto the floor. What's more surprising is that Pat Harrington, Jr who portrayed Dwayne Schneider, witnessed this, but seemingly turned a blind eye, according to Mackenzie's account. She emphasized that Pat Harrington Jr. ignored the incident. However, Bonnie Franklin, who played Anne Romano, had a different perspective. During the same television special, Bonnie Franklin refuted Mackenzie's claim. In her view, the incident wasn't simply ignored, it had consequences. Bonnie asserted that Mackenzie Phillips was subsequently fired from the show. This revelation sheds light on the hidden struggles and controversies that can often accompany the world of entertainment. It's a stark reminder that the glamour of television can sometimes mask the challenges faced by those behind the scenes. One Day at a Time remains an iconic show of its time, but this revelation from Mackenzie Phillips adds a layer of complexity to its history, reminding us that the stories unfolding on screen don't always reflect the reality behind the cameras. One Day at a Time, the 1975 TV series, had its share of interesting connections. One notable aspect is the guest appearances of Corey Feldman and Mark Hamill as Schneider's nephews in different episodes. This added some star power to the show during its run. But did you know that One Day at a Time almost had a different title and a different storyline? 
Originally titled All About Us, the show was intended to focus on a single divorced mother raising her daughter. The series concept was based on the real-life experiences of Whitney Manning's Blake, who was raising her daughter, Meredith Baxter. She pitched this idea to various networks in the 1960s, but no one bought it at the time. By the time CBS and Norman Lear optioned it in 1975, she was considered too old for the role. Ironically, when One Day at a Time finally made it to the air in the 1975-1976 season, Meredith Baxter had already landed a role in another hit family TV show, Family, produced by Aaron Spelling. Additionally, before her role in One Day at a Time, Bonnie Franklin had earned acclaim for her Tony-nominated performance in the Broadway musical Applause. The musical was a version of All About Eve and starred the legendary Lauren Bacall. These connections and behind-the-scenes stories offer a fascinating glimpse into the history of One Day at a Time. It's a reminder that the world of television often weaves a web of connections and missed opportunities. So, next time you watch One Day at a Time, remember the interesting trivia behind the scenes, from different actors playing Schneider's nephews to the show's original concept, and the theater success of its star, Bonnie Franklin. In the 1975 TV series One Day at a Time, Mackenzie Phillips and Valerie Bertinelli, despite being only five months apart in age, had distinct roles. Valerie Bertinelli portrayed the younger sister, while Mackenzie Phillips was cast as the older sibling. The original pilot of the show, initially titled Three to Get Ready, featured Bonnie Franklin as Anne Romano, who worked as a nurse. In this early version, there was only one daughter named Julie Benton, and Pat Harrington continued his role as Schneider. Marsha Rod played Anne's best friend, Gail. However, Bonnie Franklin later admitted that this initial pilot was a bit messy and lacked clarity. Eventually, they reworked it, leading to the iconic series we know today. During the show, there's a notable in-joke where one character teases Anne about expecting her to look like Maude due to her divorce. This was a reference to Norman Lear's other popular feminist sitcom at the time, Maude. These tidbits add intriguing layers to the history of One Day at a Time, showcasing the behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped the show's characters and humor. It's a reminder of how even minor casting choices and pilot reworks can make a significant impact on a series' success. And that's the story of One Day at a Time and some interesting facts about its early development, straight from the archives of IMDb. In 1975, the TV series One Day at a Time made its debut, and it left a mark on the television landscape. While there isn't substantial information available about the specific topics you mentioned, here's an interesting tidbit about the show, did you know? According to cast members, Norman Lear and the tandem producers had an unusual way of adding laughter to one day at a time. They would videotape all in the family and use the audience laughter from that show to fill in the dead air on one day at a time. In later years, the tapings of One Day at a Time were preceded by showings of Archie Bunker's place, with the audience's responses also recorded and added to the episodes before they aired. This unique approach added an extra layer of connection between the two shows. While we don't have the specific details you mentioned, it's clear that One Day at a Time was a show that was not only well-received, but also had some interesting behind-the-scenes techniques to enhance its comedic appeal. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the corridors of time, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with the iconic 1975 TV series, One Day at a Time. It's more than just a show, it's a slice of history, a mirror reflecting the past, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Think back to the laughter and tears that unfolded within those episodes. The heartwarming moments that resonated with your own life experiences, the characters who felt like old friends, and the timeless themes that continue to echo in your heart. One day at a time wasn't just a show, it was a companion on life's journey. Now, it's your turn to share. What are your fondest memories of the show? Which character touched your heart the most? Were there life lessons you carried with you from the screen to your own life? Your thoughts and memories are the threads that weave the tapestry of this show's enduring legacy. Share your thoughts, your reflections, your favorite episodes or moments. Let's celebrate the connections we've formed with this timeless classic. In doing so, we ensure that the spirit of one day at a time lives on, passed down from generation to generation. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated.
Until we meet again in the world of storytelling, keep those memories close and the stories alive.